Hey guys, um, <laughs> I'm going to try to make this video. Um, I'm feeding Ezra right now. Uh, and if he cooperates, then I can make the whole video. Okay. Um, it's about breastfeeding and um, the complications that we've had. And if I could do it all over again, what I would really, you know, make sure was done properly from the day he was born, that would really, I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair, but that would really make a huge difference in our progress because we've had a super hard time and we're still struggling. Um, oh goodness, come on baby. <laughs> I think it might be time to switch. Okay, so it started out where in the hospital, he, when he was born, he had low blood sugar. Okay. Um, so they needed to supplement. And the way that they did that, they said, um, let me show you here. They ran this little tube, like it's, you know, it's just a syringe. Um, and then like, this is like a little catheter that they, you hook onto the syringe, as you can see. Okay. Um, they had me, basically they, we like put little band-aids up here on both breasts and we just kind of like taped it down. Um, so that it would be running alongside the nipple. So it would be right, right next to the nipple. And we fed him while he was sucking on the breast. We would slowly inject or eject or what eject, whatever, <laughs> uh, formula out of here. Okay. And sometimes, wow, I haven't used this in a while and there's actually like still formula in it. I thought I washed it out the last time I ever used it. Um, anyway. We slowly would do this. My husband would do it for me. Um, that was the first night that he was even born. Um, we would slowly, you know, let that out um, while he was nursing. And after about the second day, or like even the first couple night or first night, he was sleeping so well. Like most babies are supposed to wake up, you know, maybe every couple of hours, like newborns, like hungry, ready to eat again. And he wasn't like he would sleep like five hours like through the night, and I didn't know that that was I didn't know that he should be waking up like he should be on the breast more often, um, which I know now that if I would have put him on the breast more often, I would have had some of the problems I've been having. Um, so when the nurses would come in to visit me and stuff, I told them that I was like he's sleeping like five hours and everything, and they didn't. No one said anything to me about. Well, you know, if you're really adamant about breastfeeding, you need to wake him up and put him on the breast um, so your milk supply comes in. No one told me that. And and every time that I did uh, feed him, you know, he was taking in way more of that formula and not really, um, probably really like um, sucking very well. And no one checked my latch as well. I mean, I think they did like once. Um, and the lactation consultant was supposed to come see me she never saw me till the last day I was there and didn't even really talk to me much at all before I left. I mean, I don't even remember the conversation we had. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm, this is kind of a gripe video, I guess, but it's also to inform you of what you should do and don't let this happen to you. Um, so, basically, the whole time he was there, we were there in the hospital three nights, and that's not counting the time I was there until I had the baby. So I was really there like four, almost five nights. But um, I was there three nights with Ezra. And all three nights he slept like that. I came home, you know, and, and then I talked to them about, you know, getting him off of this. And they just said, as soon as your milk comes in, then you can take him off of the, that I can quit doing this. Okay, well, I didn't even know my milk came in. It never, I never felt like they never really got big. I would squeeze them and just, I mean, I don't know. It was, I guess, like the third, maybe it was like the fifth day my milk came in, and it was like not much at all. Um, and that's because I was hardly ever breastfeeding. I mean, I was, but not as much as he would have been if I wasn't doing so much supplement. Um, I understand if I wasn't doing any supplement, he, maybe his sugar got low or whatever, but they did tell me uh, that his sugar was fine. They checked it a couple more times, like... Uh, like the next day, and he, his sugar was fine, so I don't think I was supposed really needed to keep doing that. I'm pointing at it because it's right here. But I, I think they could have told me I could have stopped doing this 
you know, but I was still doing it till the day I left. Um, so anyway, um, I came home back to that part. I came home, um, I tried to get him, I kept doing that and it was becoming very painful. That screwed up his latch. Um, the whole time in the hospital, like it hurt every time I put him on, it was hurting me. They never sent a lactation consultant to come check it out or anything. And they knew it was hurting me. Um, when I was home, I, I guess after the second day, I, it was hurting so bad. And I already went through the part where it was cracked and everything. And I used the lanolin, but this was different. Um, this was different. Like, uh, the lanolin like had helped and all my, my breasts were healed. They weren't cracking anymore. But after I stopped using that and he was just on the breast, he was like, like so used to getting that formula so fast that he was like struggling breastfeeding and like hurting me, like biting really hard and bruising my breast. Um, so one night I just started crying and I was like, you know, I like, I felt like such a failure and I gave him a bottle. And I was just a formula, you know, and I just, I just cried and cried, you know, because I, I didn't ever wanted to do that. My, I was so like heart set on breastfeeding exclusively, you know? Um, so I called the lactation consultants and I've been seeing them a couple times. I've seen them twice and I've been working, doing all sorts of things to get my milk supply up. I've been nursing more, which is 